so happy to see you all today. Uh, for today's layout or process, I am going to do a traveler's notebook page in my February traveler's notebook. I actually think that I'm going to be working in this all week this week, uh, except for Thursday, because I am trying so hard to finish my February traveler's notebook. This layout is going to feature Stay Colorful by Dear Lizzie, which you can grab in the Memory Lane Scrap Shop, Scrapbook Store, and you can use my code to get a discount. You can use my code to get a discount. <laughs> I love that. And the discount isn't a little bit either. It's 20%, which is really good. Uh, so I am going to be using the Stay Colorful collection. This will be my last project using this collection for Memory Lane Scrapbook Shop, but I probably will still use it because there's still lots and lots of goodies left that I have that I can use. I decided to do something completely off the beaten path with this collection today. Please ignore my son. He was trying to be funny, and I, I explained to him that he wasn't being funny, so don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is... I am going to scrapbook a photo um, of our dinner one night, and I'm going to scrapbook about how we eat. Uh, my family, well, my boys and I and my husband, we are very much foodies or food snobs, shall I say. And I think that sometimes it's fun to document food photos and talk about why you eat what you eat and how you eat what you eat. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and I decide to you cut a whole bunch of squares. So I have my old square punch out. This is a one and a quarter, one and a half, one and a half square. And I'm going to punch just lots and lots and lots and lots of squares. So now that I have all my squares punched, I'm not going to punch more. Uh, so I'm going to use exactly what I have here and I want to create a pattern that kind of fades off. So I'm going to start by laying down these squares in a di kind of a diagonal pattern uh, close together and then you're going to see what happens when I get to the part where the, di the diagonal squares are not close together anymore. Huh, makes sense? <laughs> um, and so yeah, I'm just making sure that two patterns aren't close together. That's it, that's all I'm doing. And the rest is just stick and plunk. So once I have a nice amount of these squares down, what I did was, was I trimmed off the edges and then I'm using the edges to fill in some gaps. I am going to use every scrap of these squares. <laughs> I just, unless it was like the smallest of the smallest, I kept it. So, I'm just going to continue on and create my grid and then go from there. Once I had the main part of my grid finished, I'm now going to add more of these squares. And, well, they're kind of diamonds now, except that I'm going to make them like they're flying off into and over into the next page. And I think this turned out really, really cute. I'm going to use that chipboard piece that says treat yourself and actually that chipboard piece is how I came up with the idea to do this traveler's notebook spread because um, I was like I really want to use that I like it it's cute I just don't know how what photo do I have that works with that <laughs> and so that's what I came up with so there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing guys I'm just taking these squares and I'm kind of just popping them the ones that trimmed off, that I trimmed off around the edges. And the goal of what I'm doing right now is just to use up every square that I punched. So what I'm doing now is right along the binding of a traveler's notebook, sometimes the uh, pattern, if you have patterns right up against the binding, they tend to want to like, after you open and close it a few times, if you just use tape runner, they tend to want to um, lift and um, I'm a little bit twitchy about that, so I put a little some scotch twig to scotch quick dry adhesive on all the edges around the binding, and that keeps it from um, doing that, from getting like bent up and stuff. 
So I'm going to go ahead and um, trim my photo just a little bit. I felt like it was just a little too big and I wanted to be able to use that little card to do my journaling. So I trimmed just uh, maybe a quarter inch off of both sides. These are four by four photos and I very rarely print at home. I mostly print by sending my photos to persnickety prints. So I'm going to go ahead and get my journaling down on to this little note card. And then I'm going to grab uh, my current favorite date stamp, which is the one from the Twilight Collection by One Canoe 2. I love the font. I think it's awesome. And um, I think I went off to search for it. Haha, -ha, success! <laughs> um, I am just going to use this Ultinew Permanent Black ink, which I am in love with Ultinew inks, you guys. They're just so awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the date. And and I disappeared. There I am. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about backing this, um, my journaling spot. Because I really wanted it to kind of tuck underneath. But I didn't want to add any more pattern to this layout. I feel like there's so much pattern going on already. So I was able to um, tuck just enough of it down. Just a little bit. And I only put... Um, I only put stuff at the bottom. So I decide that that's where I want my title to be and because it's American Crash Report, I was able to kind of put it there and then pull it back up without hurting anything. And now I am going to pull as much of the offensive chipboard off the back as I can. <laughs> um, I love the design of these stickers, they're beautiful. I'm not a chipboard fan, so I tend to pull the chipboard off, especially in my traveler's notebook, just to get rid of some of that extra bulk. And I'm gonna push this down. I did put a little too much glue on the back of this and it kinda like wrinkled up my Tomo paper on the other side, but that's okay, we'll fix that. It's really not a big deal to me. I'm just gonna go through this chipboard and see what else I might wanna add. I think I end up adding just some stars. I think I come back and get stars. Or not stars. Hearts. Definitely hearts. Now I'm going to put lots of stickers on this page. So I loved these little houses and I thought this was the perfect story for them because we're eating at home. <laughs> um, and I love them. They're the cutest little things. So definitely going to add those and make those a design element on this page. And I'm also going to go through and grab a bunch of hearts and just a lot of stickers. They're, this layout consists of a lot of stickers. Which, stickers are perfect for traveler's notebooks. Because you want flat things. You don't want your traveler's notebook to get too bulky. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add, embellish up. I'm going to put the cluster down at the bottom. I'm going to put a cluster of little hearts up at the top. And then I'm going to work on a couple of things around my title area. Up around this title, I found this little ticket that said food, and I thought, oh, perfect. So we're definitely going to keep that, and I think that's all I keep from the die cut pack. But I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit. I needed to get it so that it wasn't going to be, like, cut or messed up or in the seam of the traveler's notebook. So it took a little doing, but I figured it out. And that will complete my layout for today. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I will see you again tomorrow, I think with another Traveler's Notebook insert. Yeah, so have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.